all right what's good guys what's the diggity deal um we're gonna be going over knit today of how to set up controllers real quick how to set up um services how to basically just get started in creating knit. it's very simple very simple process super super simple um but yeah we're gonna do that real quick uh so let's just get right into it i don't even think i'm gonna i don't even think i'm gonna use knit i think i'm just gonna create the scripts all right so i'm just gonna like let you guys know where to play stuff replicated storage make a folder controllers okay server storage folder um services uh so that that's the first thing right and i i also want to i also want to stress this out real quick if you don't understand the basics of programming and i'm saying really understand them and like you haven't mastered the fundamentals i wouldn't even try using a framework it's going to be fairly confusing and it's going to take you longer to learn and pick it up okay if you've mastered the basics and the fundamentals though then you should be good to go but let's continue so controllers folder inside replicated storage services folder inside server storage all right local script inside starter player scripts this is going to initialize our controllers. So let's say we have, you know, knit. Uh, well, actually, let's just do replicated storage because we're going to get our variables out, right? You know, so things are looking pretty clean. Um, so replicated storage. And then we're going to say uh, knit is require replicated storage. We're going to wait for that. Wait for that child. Okay, bro, because because it is the clients it's a it's a local script it might not exist as soon as we require it so we gotta wait for that all right so we're gonna do that wait for child knit if it's in packages if it's in folder this is the path this path is gonna change however you organize your code uh set the path properly you know my path is usually in packages because i use wally but we're not gonna get into that in this video, wherever your knit is, require that, all right? And you gotta wait for the child. If it's in a folder, wait for the folder, and then wait for knit, okay? Now we're gonna do um, knit dot, actually, we're gonna go up here and get our controllers, okay? So let's say you put your controllers inside of replicated storage. Controllers equals replicated storage, wait for child. Wait for that. All right, and then we're going to do, um, we're going to do, drawing a blank here, uh, knit dot add controllers. I'm pretty sure this is right. Check the documentation because the documentation lays it out. So we're going to do add controllers and then we're going to pass in our controllers. We're going to do knit dot start. Okay. And then we're going to do, and then, and then a catch. Okay. And then. Basically, if you want to put a function in this and then you can also the and then is camel case, meaning the first letter is lowercase and then capital to, of the first word of each word after that. And then we're going to put in a function here. So let's just say our function is like so we got to put our our stuff right there. Start prince knit has started on client all right and now we're going to do this same thing go over to server script service create a script and we're going to say let me blow this up a little bit we're going to say local replicated storage equals game or equals game get service replicated local knit equals require on the server script we don't need to use wait for child so we're just going to say replicate a storage dot knit and then we're going to say uh we're going to get our server so we needed server storage so server storage equals game get service server storage and then we're going to get our services server storage dot services and then we're gonna do knit dot add 
services, services, and then we'll do knit.start and then function. All right. Um, and then we're going to do print knit has started on the uh, server. And then we're going to do a catch at the end here. All right, that's it. Boom. And that's it. And that's how you set it up, right? And I'm not going to go over, you know, the how to set up your services and controller scripts themselves. I just wanted to get this an initialized process down, okay, so that you know how to do this properly. I think this is important. Some people have trouble with this, whatever. If this gives you problems, then I apologize, um, you know, uh, and then just check the Discord to to get any any help on that but um that is pretty much how you can quickly set up real quick you can start your you can start and initialize your services and your controllers um and that's all i'm going to do for this video if anybody tries to talk crap about using print statements or whatever you know some programmers just run their mouths and stuff don't pay him any attention. Use your prints. I use prints all the freaking time, and I just don't care. Um, some people will like be like complaining about the console. The console's cluttered with prints. Like, oh, it's not like you can't freaking search up a certain print if you need it. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. You can also hide certain prints. So, use prints, guys. Like, I use prints for all my stuff. Um, just because it lets me know, especially if it's a big, big project, it lets me know stuff is consistently working. Um, and I just don't ever have a problem with it because again, I use the search bar and the filter. So you're good. Uh, but yeah, that's all I wanted to do for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.